Okay, let's talk about it. I like to practice my speed with this kind of guitar. I, the acoustic guitar. I like to practice my speed and my rumba, Congolese rumba and seven skills with that. Because I feel like it's strengthened my, it's improved the strength of my, my left hand. <laughs> family let's make a new video in english i'm really trying to please you all my english speaker followers trying to learn african music you know as you love congolese broomba and seven let's make it for you right <laughs> so today i want to talk about how to improve your speed on guitar how to improve your skills and your speed and uh the way you're strolling on the fretboard right ah that's a very sensitive subject <laughs> but first of all let me clear your mind about it. What do you mean by speed? What exactly do you expect when you practice your speed? Because I've seen many guitarists, speed is only about to impress people. But when you listen carefully, you finally discover that there's no real melody, very sweet melody in this speed, you understand? And the truth is, most of the time, the very sweet melodies, the very sweet good music that you want to try trying to make is not about speed yeah i mean for real you know the melody that you want to create most of the time you won't really need to be that impressive on your speed you're just gonna have to be accurate and that is why mainly that speed that you're thinking is more about accuracy precision and it's often mistaken with impression to being impressive when you play and that's not the point fam, seriously. And that's the mistake. So what do you want now? To be impressive or to play a very good melody? Just think about it, right? What I'm telling you today is that you need to remind yourself you want to create a very good music. You want to play accurately. You want to have a very clear speech. You want to have a very good conversations. As you know, music is about having a conversation. You understand that? <laughs> being clear and is it really about being speed i don't think so now please here's the first advice stop focusing on speed ah oh, do you have the same problem than me with a train passing by your window so you hear the noise of it anyway i was telling you don't focus on speed okay focus more on creating the music that you want to play creating exactly i mean exactly the phrase the musical sentence that you want to play and if it requires the speed practice the speed for that really melody that you want to play family change your mind don't try to impress people try just to rejoice yourself to feel pleasure playing something that's very cute nice to listen and that's it you're done with your music. And that brings me to the very one advice that I want to give you about improving your speed. And I know people will disagree with me. But as you know, it's Isaac Sariel trying to give you a different approach of music, a different approach of uh, learning guitar, African approach with Congolese music, rumba and cement. <laughs> that very one advice is about Practicing the speed that you need. You need to practice the speed that you really, really need. And what I mean by that is don't mistake exercises like to improve your strength, warm ups, and different exercises are the one I've showed you before. <laughs> exercises like to warm up and to maintain your uh, stamina when you're playing you know but the truth is you're not really going to use it directly on your stage you know on the rehearsal uh, in a song you understand 
and that those are exercises like to to strengthen yes it's like um, having a workout when you're practicing your strength but all of you people who are competing like in boxing you know that only working out your muscles with weight is not going to make you win the competition you understand that you're gonna have to work more about the techniques and sometimes you will need to focus on uh, the weakness of your enemy uh, the enemy <laughs> not the enemy we're not in the war come on man I'm talking about uh, I wanted to say the weakness of your opponent yeah the opponent <laughs> and that's pure techniques so let's bring it to music practice the speed that you need think about where do you lack speed exactly and for which song for which melody really melody that you want to play you know focus on that speed that you need it may be about the chord progressions to the speed of no the chord that you want to pass from one chord to the other with accuracy this is also about speed and accuracy you understand it may be the lack of speed on arpeggios the arpeggios that you want to play that solo with arpeggios that you want to play exactly Maybe the solo that I've played on my Instagram. Or maybe your fingers are already pretty strong or pretty fast, going pretty fast on your fretboard but you lack accuracy so your workout is gonna be about accuracy think deeply about what you really need to do what you need to accomplish on your guitar playing think about your weaknesses be clear about your real weakness and that weakness is mainly that problem of speed you may have I mean speed and accuracy is the main problem when it comes to learn guitar when it comes to learn a new instrument or when it comes to learn anything that needs some techniques you understand that speed and accuracy and you may ask the question of the rates I don't know if you really understand me with my weird English and my weird expressions <laughs> but I hope so problem when it comes to learn how to play guitar and don't mistake uh, being impressive and simply being fluent you know and I mean it's more about being fluent so when you play the thing that you play the rhythm that you're playing the rhythmic uh, melody that you're playing you need to make it uh, pretty, pretty clear uh, that's why you're gonna have to practice the speed that you need for that melody then you're gonna find an another song another solo that you would like to play and practice it step by step I wouldn't want you to take the ball by the horn in the right way steadily and with efficiency so you can have the result think about what you really want to accomplish and take it step by step and that's the mind you should have when it comes to practicing speed and improving it. So let's give some examples. If you play rhythmic guitar, the problem of speed come mainly from your strength, you know, your muscles, and uh, the freedom of all your fingers. You know, the freedom of all your fingers when they're moving on the fretboard. When you're a beginner, your fingers are like st stuck together and cannot easily move by themselves without 